Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the 13th lecture. So, we will continue uh, with the previous lecture whatever we have been discussing. Uh, so, uh, we need to prove this. So, for proving this we can write this is equivalent to this we can write as a tilde c here this is the inner product this is a vector this is a vector and so this vector and this vector and here this is there is a transpose so that makes it a inner product so we can write this as a tilde dot times a tilde cross times a tilde dot this can be rewritten this, this can be written as a tilde cross a tilde dot okay. we take this uh, dot product from here to here okay. so there will be exchange of this dot will become cross and this cross will become dot now if we use this so this part is now obviously 0 so 0 times a tilde dot this will be equal to 0 so what we see that this quantity is zero and therefore the previous expression we have been working with this gets reduced to phi dot okay so the already we have written from the geometry that this should be equal to phi dot which indeed turns out to be equal to phi dot okay so uh, we need a number of identities to uh, prove uh, few things and uh, those identities are like last time we have discussed this is equal to 1 so this implies a tilde times transpose times a tilde dot equal to a tilde dot transpose times a tilde this equal to 0 and uh, then a tilde cross a tilde obviously this quantity will be 0 and this will imply a tilde dot cross a tilde equal to minus a tilde cross a tilde dot okay if we differentiate it so uh, the two terms will be differentiated take uh, right hand side is 0 taking on the right hand side we get this quantity and then we have another identity a tilde dot cross times a tilde cross this usually we write as a tilde dot the cross is written up because this indicates a matrix similarly here this part indicates a matrix so this is a tilde cross so uh, this part will be equal to a tilde times a tilde dot transpose and this can be proved okay similarly we have a tilde times a tilde dot transpose times a tilde cross this can be proved and lastly we have a tilde dot times a tilde transpose minus and all of them can be proved ok so uh, it will be better that uh, we do this as part of the tutorial otherwise uh, I feel can we cover it today well, uh, let me try. Okay, so uh, we'll pick up this a tilde dot cross times a tilde cross. This we need to prove that a tilde times a tilde dot transpose.
Okay, so for working this, what the trick we can apply? That just write this as. Let us assume that this is operating on a vector nu. Okay. The left hand side we are taking, and we have to prove that this is equal to the right hand side. So what it indicates that this quantity equal to this is a tilde. From here, this is a tilde cross nu. Or either, if you want to write it in the form of vector, so equally you can write in terms of vector. It's not a problem. So that means that we can write this as a dot cross a cross a cross. And then, if we break it up, a dot v times A minus A dot A. We write it in this way. This quantity we know that this quantity is zero. A dot A already we have because this is the A dot A. This is nothing but A tilde. Dot transpose times a tilde, <coughs> which we have already written as zero. Okay, now we have to look into this quantity. So this we can write as a times a dot nu. This is operating on nu vector. Now remove from both sides this nu. So this is a dot cross times A cross. This will be equal to a dot, and this quantity is nothing but your a transpose a, or in terms of if you if you write it, this is a tilde transpose times a tilde, and uh, here we have dropped out this part, so we. Okay, this part is here. This a remains here in this place. So this is a times a dot, and here this is the dot. So a transpose. Uh, so this quantity equal to a tilde transpose times a tilde dot. So you can see that dot was here uh, on the front one, the first one. So it has gone gone to the second one. Here there was no dot, so dot is here. So this way we have proved that a tilde dot cross a tilde cross this will be equal to a tilde transpose times a tilde dot. So if we use this technique, so we will be able to prove many such identities. So next we have the the next identity we have. Uh, A tilde dot times A tilde transpose minus Actually, these identities are required while we deal with uh, getting the reverse thing. Means, uh, if we are looking to uh, get A dot and uh, phi dot. From omega, so at that time, these things will be required. So the next, we need to prove this quantity. And the uh, way of doing is the same as we have done earlier, but here, this particular expression, <coughs> it's expansion of a certain term that we need to write first. This 
जस्ट एक मिनट के लिए यहाँ पर पॉज करूँगा मेरा पेपर ढूंढना है ओके okay, तो so हम स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं फिर अच्छा नाउ व्हाट वी लुक इनटू दिस इज द आइडेंटिटी वी यूज सो इफ यू लुक इनटू दिस पार्टिकुलर पार्ट सो दिस इज नथिंग बट इफ यू लुक इन द वेक्टर नोटेशन दिस इज नथिंग बट ए वन टाइम्स ए टू क्रॉस इट्स समथिंग लाइक दिस से if you are op operating on vector v okay so the right hand side is like this and on the left hand side the same thing will appear as a1 cross a2 cross v minus a2 cross a1 cross v so this is an identity which is part of vector triple product okay so we use this identity here to solve for this so if you look into this if we replace a1 cross by uh, already previously what we have done that uh, see here this is a1 tilde cross and a2 tilde cross okay so we will replace this a2 tilde cross here by a tilde dot and a1 tilde cross by a tilde so if we re replace in this equation and then we see that what the result comes so here using this identity we can replace this by a1 by a tilde so this is a tilde cross times a tilde dot cross minus a tilde dot cross times a tilde cross and on the right hand side then we will have a tilde cross and this part then we have a2 is nothing but a tilde dot and then whole cross so if we go back and look into this a tilde cross times a tilde this is turning out to be this on the other hand if the same quantity is if you write it like this the things will get reversed and you will have a tilde dot it will appear like this again here we have done the uh mistake we need to correct it this is a times we have already done this part so here this is transpose here this is dot okay so this is a times so this is the outer product outer product again here also we need to correct it so this is our outer product okay so if we utilize this result so we can utilize it here so this will get reduced to a tilde dot times a tilde transpose minus a tilde 
transpose times a tilde dot okay. this dot will turn up uh, again this is transpose this will be equal to a tilde cross times a tilde dot cross so now go back and uh, what uh, here in this place this is what we were looking for a tilde dot a tilde transpose a tilde times a tilde dot okay on the right hand side we have this okay so this is the ident this is an identity which we have proved using the vector triple product properties so this is another identity uh, from the vector triple product which we have just picked up and put here in this format Okay, so lastly, we have uh, that a tilde times a tilde dot transpose a tilde this is the last identity uh, that we need to prove. Okay, so uh, we are start in the same way that we take the left hand side first and uh, multiply it on both side by uh, we multiply this by nu. So uh, we can write this as a tilde times a tilde transpose and this operates on this vector nu equal to minus a tilde dot cross new and later on again we will take out new from both the sides and see the right hand side equality is satisfied or not. So, we will remove this part let us think that this is the left hand side we are operating on new the vector new and then rewrite this quantity. So, this quantity is nothing but a tilde dot cross using the previous one we have derived a tilde cross times a tilde okay, cross and this will operate on a tilde cross. Okay. So, this is say if, uh, it is something like this okay. and this is going to operate on this new. and plus the same way here a tilde cross and a tilde dot. So, this is a tilde cross times a tilde dot cross and this will be operating on this vector and then break this. if we break it a tilde <coughs> this is a tilde dot new times a tilde minus uh, a tilde transpose ok. So, uh, we have uh, done uh, ok this is fine we have converted this uh, so this is ok. Now, this is a dot a and this is our new and plus a tilde cross a tilde dot new times a tilde dot minus Yeah. and then obviously it has to be operated by this cross product. So, what we get from here this is a scalar quantity. So, therefore, we can write as a tilde cross a tilde times 
a tilde dot mu minus a tilde this is your a tilde so this quantity is 1 so here what we get just new plus now uh, one more thing here we are missing while well, we break the bracket so it will operate on this one so this will be a tilde cross new times a tilde a tilde this is 1 so a tilde dot cross new this and this okay plus again we have to break here in this place so a tilde cross a tilde dot okay this and this we have taken here in this place this quantity is the nothing but a tilde transpose times a tilde dot so this quantity is zero already we have observed it okay so this part gets reduced to zero and this is what we have here okay these are the three parts we are having so overall we have now you look into this part this is this is both same these two are same and here the uh, dot comes afterwards your dot comes in front so this is nothing but minus a tilde cross a tilde dot this quantity so this and this they cancel out and what we get here minus a tilde dot cross so this we can write as minus a tilde dot cross now remove from here we operated on this vector v so if we remove it so this is what we get so from here this equal to ultimately we can write here this equal to minus a tilde dot cross v okay so you can see that we can remove this v and this is what the result we were looking for so this is proved so I will remove it finally, not to confuse that we are putting in the beginning. So therefore, this implies a tilde times a tilde dot transpose a tilde cross plus this equal to minus a tilde dot cross. So these are some of the results which are very useful while reducing the matrices. Okay, already we have observed that omega tilde this is nothing but phi dot times a tilde minus 1 minus cos phi tilde cross times a tilde dot plus sin phi times a tilde dot. Okay. So, from here then we can get this phi dot and a tilde dot also. So, for this what we need to do that operate on both sides a tilde cross omega okay, on both sides we just operate by this a tilde cross. So, if we do that this quantity will be equal to 0 1 minus cos phi times a tilde cross a tilde cross a tilde dot this is the quantity here and plus sin phi times a tilde cross times a tilde dot. So, obviously this quantity here vanishes this implies one 
1 minus cos phi remember we can either write like this or either we can write like this okay if we write it like this this indicates that this is a matrix a skew symmetric matrix this is a skew symmetric matrix and this is operating on this vector and if you are writing here in this format so we are just working with the vector notation and we can do the vector operation here so this is the difference if i write it up so that indicates that this is a matrix if i write it in this way this indicates vector so here i have an either way if you proceed result will be the same because they are the same thing like if i have omega cross r okay so this is the vector product and the same thing i can write as omega tilde cross r means here we are dealing with a skew symmetric matrix and then here we are writing r1 r2 r3 or either write here in this format omega 1 say e 1 cap plus omega 2 e 2 cap plus omega 3 e 3 cap and then cross product with r 1 times e 1 cap plus r 2 times e 2 cap plus r 3 times e 3 cap. If you do this you will get a vector here also you will get a vector, but here you get a there in the matrix format and here uh, in the original vector format, but results of both of them will be identical that will not seem different. Okay. So, it does not make difference whether we write it like this or either we write it like this. Okay, so, uh, this part and then we have sin phi a tilde cross a tilde dot and we need to expand it further so that it gets reduced into a simplified format. this part we can expand. Now, here if you look into this, this is in the vector triple form product format. So, we can write this as okay, this is a tilde times a tilde dot and this is a tilde minus a tilde dot a tilde times a tilde dot. this quantity is 0, okay. this quantity equal to 0. Therefore, this gets reduced to 1 minus cos phi and uh, this is minus minus then gets plus and this quantity is 1. So, this is a tilde dot plus sin phi okay. So, this is our a tilde cross omega tilde. Okay, same way this a tilde cross times omega tilde we have already done that again if we operate on this by this one a tilde cross. Okay. So, this will be 1 minus cos phi cos phi and the whatever the previous result we have got. So, a tilde cross times a tilde dot plus sin phi a tilde cross times a tilde cross times a tilde sir thoda is ka karna hai ha to isko three parts mein nahi kar sakte hain ha isko main continue karta hu is हाँ और इस लेक्चर को थोड़ा मैं एडिट कर लूँगा क्योंकि एक दो जगह पर कहीं कहीं पर मैं रुका हूँ हाँ अच्छा ठीक है हाँ इसको मैं खत्म कर लेता हूँ आज सोच रहा हूँ पूरा कर लेने को आज ठीक है ओके सो this is the left hand side we have multiplied by this. So, right hand side also gets multiplied by this. Now, this part we can simplify. 
and uh, this part can be written as minus sin phi times a tilde dot and plus 1 minus cos phi times a tilde cross times a tilde dot. So, what we have done that a tilde cross a tilde dot. So, this is nothing but your a cross a cross a dot uh, we have done earlier the same thing a cross a cross a cross a dot this is what we have done earlier also now here this is a cross ok. So, ok we will do it here. So, for this quantity then this is a a dot a minus a times a dot. So, this quantity is 0 because this is the inner product of this we have already proved this. So, only this part remains and this equal to 1. So, therefore, this is minus a dot minus a dot and therefore, this we can write from this place if we use this here. So, this way our things have got simplified. Now, uh, this this is the equation B, okay, which is equal to a tilde cross a tilde cross omega tilde. Now, if we solve A and B for assuming phi dot and a tilde dot uh, sorry assuming a tilde dot and these are the two variables involved here a tilde dot and this one. So, you assume this if you look here in this one this is your one variable this is another variable on the right hand side and go on the previous one here also if you look a tilde cross a tilde times a tilde cross dot and here a tilde dot. So, in both the places the in both the places the same thing is appearing. Okay. okay. So, if, uh, if we solve it assuming a tilde dot and a tilde cross a tilde dot to be two variables and remember that uh, this will be equal to minus a tilde dot times a tilde. So, assuming this to be two variables and if we try to solve it we will get a tilde dot because this is one of the variable which what we are looking for we are not looking for this one we are looking for this. So, a tilde dot this gets reduced to 1 by 2 a tilde a tilde cross this is known to us because this is the vector about which we are giving rotation this is cot phi by 2 times a tilde cross times a tilde cross and omega tilde. So, from omega tilde then we are able to retrieve a tilde dot. So, vice versa we can go either from this direction to this direction or either from this to that direction and uh, phi dot this will turn out to be a tilde transpose times omega tilde. This already we have done okay. because omega is known. So, if we uh, pre multiply by a transpose this gets reduced to the phi dot this previously we have proved it. So, we are not repeating here again in this place. So, this is another important conclusion. So, this can be utilized for uh, reducing the quaternions or either the Euler rates uh, to a compact format which is very useful. Okay, so, we will continue in the next lecture. Thank you.